shows a lot of the work that we put in because I remember, um, you know, my sophomore year we were awful at uh, pass defense. And then even early on last year, we struggled a little bit. I'm thinking back to that Cincinnati game we played in where we had some of those struggles. But uh, we've definitely made improvements. Now the thing that we need is to keep the consistency. Um, we need to always have intensity. I think we do a good job of that. But uh, the season's long and things change. So uh, for us, it's just going to be about the consistency of our work and our intensity, everything that we do. Joshua, I'm sorry if you've been asked about this. And I know you have nothing to do with the decision. But does this team know who the starting quarterback is right now? No. Um, and that's the great thing is I think we got two guys who can play really well. Uh, for the defense, as you can see, it really doesn't matter who's in that quarterback. We're going to go out there and do our work. Um, you know, the thing that we want is to just make sure everybody's supportive of each other. You held, uh, you held Northern Illinois' quarterback about 200 yards under his total offense average for the first two games. What was the approach with him to contain him of passing in on the ground? Um, we knew that he was going to be a guy who uh, who could do a lot of things. He could throw the ball well and he could run well. So the big thing for us was discipline. I discipline was huge. Um, making sure that we got our correct reads was uh, huge. And then the pass game, making sure that we were able to uh, kind of unleash in our rush, but make sure that we were controlled with it too, because he's going to find a seam and go with it, whether that's taking off, running, or throwing the ball. Um, I think overall we were successful at doing that. Did you have more than once that maybe you felt like, well, that was probably it. We had the last stop, and then you had to go back out there. No, I mean, the whole time we were sitting on the sidelines, the D was ready to go back in. Um, we knew that it was going to be a defensive game just from the start with the weather. That was kind of our indication with everything. Um, you know, we kept the intensity, we kept the energy up. Uh, we knew that we were going to get into some four down situations, too. We were going to have to play ball, and I think that we responded really well. We saw how the defense played in the playoff run last year. Did you know this defense would play like this right away at the start of the season last year? Uh, no. You just you can never know. Uh, we knew that we were going to have probably a little bit more talent than we did last year, and uh, we knew that with some of the personalities, the way guys play, we were going to have some intensity out there. Uh, we just didn't know how quickly it was going to uh, come together and gel. We're doing a great job so far, but we've got a lot of work to do still. So. What's the ceiling for this defense? Um, sky's the limit. I really do believe that, uh, just based off of what I said, the talent of the guys, but also how we get together and we just have an identity. Um, you know, we, we go hard, we care about each other, uh, we play with a lot of juice. Do you guys think you're the best defense in the country right now? Uh, we don't know. I mean, I haven't seen other teams play. I think that we're one of the top defenses out there. I think that we've got guys. I wouldn't trade our guys for anyone else.